Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday, March 8th, the first day of the fourth quarter, and it's a great time to be here as a junior potter. Mr. Perry here with your science rundown for today. Uh, first off, when you come back, there's going to be new seats because it was the first day of the first quarter, and with our fresh new unit getting kicked off today, we are going to uh, have some new seats. There will be a bell ringer up there. Make sure you answer your bell ringer. And if we have a new March Mammal Madness update, that video will be linked in the um, Schoology for you to update your brackets because um, I can't play it over the top of this video. Um, so the video will be also located in there if there is an update for this day. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is starting off our natural selection stuff, and we got a little lab for us to do today. Um, so you'll need to open up the bird beak lab, I believe is what it's going to be called. And we're just going to be doing day one, which day one is a lot of the actual lab itself. Um, so effectively what we are doing is that you're going to have a bunch of different bird beaks in a bunch of different environments, and you're going to see what environment is best for what beak. Um, make it, it's going to be like a little competition game. Um, this one's going to be weird because you're not going to be able to simulate this part of the activity. So what I am going to do for you to, in order for you to do day two stuff is that when you open your document, which I'm expecting you to open your document today, um, I am going to, or you're going to need to um, fill out, first you can hypothesize our islands. So let's look at our different beaks. Um, our different beaks, we're going to have a flat tweezer, which is like your normal tweezers. Um, you're going to have some spiked tweezers, which have a little spike at the end of them. Um, and actually, let me go, well, I'll just go get the beaks here. Hold one second. I mean, it was just on the other side of the room, so might as well just show you what we got here for our beaks. We've got our spoon beak. That is one of them. It's our normal spoon. We've got, all right, so these are the spiked tweezers, and you can see that they got a little curve at the end of them. We've got these, what we're calling the flat tweezers, because they got kind of flat on the top and at the bottom. Um, that's going to be our flat tweezers. And then you've seen a clothespin before. We've got our little clothespin. Those are our beaks. And what they're going to be doing in our activity, I'll kind of just, why not simulate it here? They're going to be seeing how many beans that they can grab out of different environments. So here's an environment of a one of our cup environments. We consider this to be the Beaker Island or Marchena. Um, but we got a variety of different environments that they're going to be pulling from. There's one that says a cup with holes. Here's one we've used in the past with wires that they have to get through. Um, our little tiny film canisters, if you remember from our um, activity just in Leadership Academy the other day. That. So there's going to be a wide variety of islands. We're using four islands for this activity here today. The film canister, the cup with the holes, which would be like the wire bucket here. Um, a plate. If you've seen a plate, it's flat. I had to throw my plates away last year because they got destroyed by the end of the hour with everybody pecking at them. Um, and then we're going to have a cup or a beaker, um, which you, know, you get your little Dixie cups here can be used for that or the bigger cups can be used for that. So those are our different islands and our different beaks. Uh, the things that you can do is that you can still do the predictions of what beak is going to be best at what location. The locations are up here. It tells you what island is what and all the different beaks and what birds that they end up mimicking with those beaks. Um, you just had to put like, oh, I think the tweezers are going to, or the flat tweezers are going to be good at that island. You can just put flat tweezers in there. Um, the thing that you're not going to be able to do is the 
table number one, which is what we're filling out today, which is the information that you are getting. What we're going to do is that up on Schoology, there's going to be data for you. It'll be marked QL, bird beak lab data, or something along those lines. Um, and that is going to be data for you to use for that portion of it. Um, then what I am able to do then is um, give you some data from somebody else in class for you to do data table number two. But that data table number two is not until day number two anyways. So we'll look at that in tomorrow's video um, along with these questions. So basically what you're going to end up doing is just recording some information down um, since you're not able to participate and join in our lab. And there's not really a good way for you to otherwise do this at home. So hopefully you're not quarantined. It's been a while since we've had one, um, but th just that you are um, actually here with us. But if not, I'm going to get you that data, look for that data in the folder there. Um, that is all as far as what we got going on today. So hope you're doing well, staying safe, and I will see you later. Bye.